Hello, my name is Skye, and this is my story. I've been searching since I was a child. At the age of six, my parents divorced. I remember being sad. I was a protector and a co-parent with my only hope and happiness, my mom. I was engulfed in darkness that trauma created. The worst wound was the emotional trauma. When I was in fourth grade, I went to a Christian boarding school. It was strict and added additional trauma. Not only was I sad and broken, but I was also now infuriated. I turned my back on God. Years went by that I listened to the devil. I lived as a broken person. Parts of my mind was able to see the light, but so much pain was forgotten. Pushing those memories down for so long, the floodgates broke, which only made me turn my back on God even more. I believe now, when I met my husband, he was bringing God and Jesus into my life. Since moving to Omaha, I was on a deep journey of confronting my trauma. I tried everything to heal myself. It was not until my husband's medical heart scare, it's when he told me he wanted to go to church again. I was conflicted. I never thought I would step in a church again. I had watched services before, but it was the service that Pastor Mark was talking about supernatural battles. I asked God to give me a sign before that service. He asked us to think about a person I hated. I thought of all my perpetrators. I prayed for them. They listened to the devil. After abandonment, pain, and suffering, I prayed so hard to forgive them and myself. I remember feeling the Holy Spirit. I felt free by letting Jesus hold that pain for me. All this time, I was searching for God. I have never felt so loved since accepting and following Jesus. Amen. Let's give it up for Sky Mites, guys. Sky Mites. And if you're wondering the connection here, Sky Mainz is married to Aldrich Mainz, uh, who's behind me. They got married just this last August, so we're excited for you about that. And Sky's story, as you heard, is a bit different. Uh, she grew up in a Native American religion background, didn't grow up here in the church, but just about two years ago discovered Jesus as uh, she was going through some serious counseling, recovering from trauma, and discovering how the power of forgiveness that Jesus offers her brings healing to the deepest parts of her life. Uh, and I heard it was, she said it was during the Revelation series. So praise God that he even uses a Revelation series uh, to bring people to faith in Jesus. So very, very grateful uh, for that. And so Sky, I'm gonna ask you the same couple of uh, questions that I asked Alder. Do you believe in and trust Jesus and Jesus alone to be the one who saves you by his death and his resurrection? Yes. And do you intend to follow him all the days of your life, living a life of obedience towards him? And it's my honor, based on your profession of faith, to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. You're buried with Christ, raised to new life in him. <laughs> 